initially started talking about doing a, a signature model maybe over a year ago. The wheels start turning and what, what, what do I want? And, it, and then that turns into what do I need? We were going back and forth with a bunch of different models, just the bare bones, the guts, what feels right. With the neck, I knew I wanted something that was bigger. Um, and I've always been a fan of the V. So I think uh, I sort of settled on something in between the soft medium V and then the, the big 56 V, where the, where the V would stay consistent all the way up, as opposed to most of them right around here or here, it starts to turn into kind of a C and starts to round off. Um, I was like, well, why not have it be that comfortable all the way up? And I love it. It feels big, but plays fast. Now the body shape came later. John just sent me a, a text of like, keep like a shh, and then just sort of a video of, of him moving around on the, on, the, on the computer screen, him moving this, this body shape around. I was like, oh, he's gonna do it. I was like, dude, wow. And uh, he, he was like, well, we can, we can make it your signature model if you want. And I was like, um, this is sort of instantly texting all my friends, like, what do you think? And they're like, go dude, yes. Because I am a fan of offsets. Uh, and Alan Johannes is, is one of my favorite guitar players on the planet and a great friend. And when I'm at his place, I play that thing. Like he's got an old one. And his is outfitted with a couple of humbuckers. But having all the guts of like what was basically going to be like this, you know, the hot rodded classic, all the guts of that in a body like this. And then with the design of this bridge where you have this uh, Tone Pros tunematic, but it's actually recessed into the body. So it feels exactly the same as a normal two-point tram or whatever. We settled on this switching, but it, I, I started thinking, like I know that the HSH has is, is been associated with the sort of shredder thing for a long time. And that's all well and good, but I, I've never considered myself one. But I, going through a song on stage, I'll use different pickup combinations. I'll use three or four for a song, depending. Essentially, all the sounds that I would use in a night, I can get out of this guitar. If I wanted a telly sound for an intro or for a solo or for whatever, I can get it. So yeah, you can go from fat to skinny, um, from raunchy to pretty, you can do all of it. It's a, you know, it's like a, like a leather man, like one of those multi-tools for, for tone. I've always been a fan of the, the sort of custom colors, like the, the Fiestas and the Seafoams and the Dakotas and you know, the Sonics and the Daphnes. I just love them. There's something almost edible about the color. And, I, and, and when, when you get it right, as you guys do, um, it's almost Dayglo, but but muted and somehow sort of creamy and you want to put it in your coffee, you know. Then, they, then it was, well, do I do a matching headstock or not? And I'm a big fan of the matching headstock. Um, speaking of headstock, the hybrid, I don't know, I just think it's a lovely, almost art deco kind of thing. Uh, it just adds to the overall snaz factor, I think, of this instrument. Essentially, like having an old Mustang that drives and handles like a new Ferrari or something. You know? um, for the way I play and the way I hear things, to be able to cover as much ground as possible with one instrument. Uh, and I think you guys have done it. And it looks real snazzy too. I don't know if people still use that word. I'm bringing back. It's snazzy. It's a snazz master. <laughs> Fire and fan the flame, squeeze the clouds until it